Hello and welcome, I'm your host Mr. Bus, and I'm going to walk you through how to do the Ages of Rocks activity. In figure one, the block diagram, you're asked to write the age of the rock from oldest to youngest. And then go ahead and do that right here for the oldest to the most recent rock formed. Make a note that you don't need to write triceratops, trilobite or bacteria, or erosion surface. Go ahead and pause the video now because I'm going to go over the answers in just a moment here, then you can check your answers. Okay, so here are the answers. Using Steno's Law of Superposition, we know that the oldest rock layers are going to be under the younger rock layers, and so I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say that granite is the oldest rock layer. So I'm just going to number this, I'm going to call that a 1 as the oldest. And then there's an erosion surface here. We don't need to write erosion surface. And then slate right there is going to be rock number two. Then there's an erosion surface here, and there is also pegmatite. Pegmatite cuts through the granite and the slate. So using the law of cross-cutting relations, pegmatite is younger than the granite and the slate. So pegmatite is going to be number three. And again using the law of superposition, sandstone sits on top of the erosion surface and so sandstone is going to be next in line at four. And then limestone sits on top of the sandstone so limestone is going to be five. And then again using the law of superposition, or I'm, I'm sorry, using the law of cross-cutting relations the basalt cuts through it. How did it cut through all that? It actually melted. This melted through the granite and the sandstone and the limestone as lava um, kind of melted the rock and formed this basalt here. So basalt cut through the existing rock and so basalt is younger. So basalt is number six. And then we have another erosion surface. We're not going to write erosion surface down. And then next we're going to have, again using the law of superposition, we have volcanic ash within the shale and siltstone, so volcanic ash, I guess we're going to go ahead and call seven, even though it kind of looks like, well, we'll call it number seven, and the shale and siltstone is number eight. All right, so there it is, granite, then slate, then pegmatite, sandstone, then limestone, then basalt, then the volcanic ash, and shale and siltstone. All right, so this is what that should look like. 